Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the new release from Radio Master, the GX12 Express LRS dual band radio. It is very close to the perfect radio for my style of flying with fixed wing, iNav, gliders, all those sorts of things. Forget about the drones, this is a brilliant fixed wing radio. Uh, and mainly because we have the addition of sliders on the top there, the small monochrome screen, great size, easy to hold on to. It has six switches down the bottom here, so that's not really a six position switch, that is six individual switches. You can set it up as a six position switch if you want to, but as they're set up, they are individual programmable switches, programmable colors, colors on the switches up the top there. It has a dark mode screen. You can reverse it. It's an OLED screen, so nice and sharp. You can reverse the uh, the colors or the, the uh, tones if you want to, but it actually looks a lot better uh, in the dark mode like this. Lots of momentary switches and three position switches, uh, two folding old antennas up there like that. Also has folding gimbals would you believe you pull them out and fold them over like that for uh, more compact storage has a nano sized rf bay on the back and space in the battery bay for two 18650 batteries uh, these are extra you don't get them with the unit you have to buy them yourself so let's go down onto the bench and have a closer look at all the buttons switches and controls so it comes with the usual lovely little case there. So what do we have? Let's turn it on. Welcome to HTX. Switch Running. Warning. Thank you. Running HTX and it is dual band and Gemini. So that is 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz and Gemini mode. So uh, and one watt for each of them. So the ultimate in link quality and range. So we have the soft style lanyard, which I like because it packs down very compact. Uh, venting here and a fan inside to uh, dissipate the heat from the one watt uh, RF modules. And we have three position switch, three position switch there and there, three position switch, three position switch. Now ideally I would have a momentary switch and a two position switch on the shoulders there, well guess what, they actually provide them in the pack. You can um, easily take these panels off, they're designed to be taken off and to be swapped for other panels. So you can uh, out, lay out your switches however you want. But you can swap these panels for, for others and you can swap these switches too, which I will definitely do. Antennas folding in there like that. And we have uh, headphones, charging and data and trainer port there momentary switch and a momentary switch and those lovely sliders this is what uh, lifts this radio up the next level there's the high contrast dark mode oled screen momentary switch momentary switch there we've got all the trims really nice gimbals with the folding sticks just in another little um, in innovation like that pretty cool system model uh, return, page forward, page back, tally, and the roller wheel. We've got the speaker grill down here and P1 and P2 pots. Over on the back we have uh, rubbery covers here. If you take them off you can get access in to adjust the gimbals, spring tension, limits and all that sort of stuff. Changing from mode 1 to mode 2 without having to open up the back. And we get spare springs and uh, hole covers there. There, the uh, momentary and the two position, position switch. And there's the alternate uh, switch panels for the top of the radio. Now you can see the switches down here and these switches here have color lights in them. They can all be programmed to be whatever you want. Let's choose a different model. They've got some set up here, select the model. So with this one we have blue in the off position and different colors in the on position. Delta wing, we have just white coming on when you hit that switch. And the switch colors up here you can set up in the uh, available Lua scripts. Now setting up these switches, it's a, a, on a per model basis. If we go down to this line here, 
customizable switches. Then you've got switch one, switch two, all of them change the action. But there's all those six switches that you can play with, change the colors and all that sort of stuff. Very, very configurable. It's going to be fun to play with. And in the hardware section, you can invert the screen there. You can see it. Well, it's OK if you'd like to prefer it that way, but uh, it's not a nice pure white. So I think it's probably best to leave it as the dark mode like that. At the moment, this is a uh, review model, pre-release re review model. It's on version uh, HDX version 2.11.0, and it's a self-build, so uh, future versions of HTX will support it. As for feeling in the hand, it just feels beautiful in the hand. It's nice and small. Let me get a boxer to compare. So there it is compared to the boxer. You can see it is uh, a fair bit uh, it's about the same weight, but definitely smaller in size and, uh, yeah, probably a oh, similar thickness, but yeah, definitely smaller uh, overall size. But as I said, what I love about it is the addition of these sliders here, the changeable switches, and I, I've really got used to using momentary switches for things like arming and stuff like that, where... Uh, you don't want to bump a switch and accidentally disarm. You can use a, a momentary switch uh, via a logical switch setup to arm and disarm. Or you could even use a combination of these uh, six, six switches down here to arm. Um, it's up to you, really, up to your imagination. So I have to say, well done, Radio Master. This is a move in the right direction. This is a lovely radio. The, actually, well, there's only one thing that I'm not so keen on. It's, it's the font. I, I, I just don't think the font is stylish enough, really, because this is kind of a stylish radio, but it's, a, it's just a clunky looking font, <laughs> in my opinion. But that is a, an absolute minor thing. And possibly the printing on these buttons is going to wear off, maybe. We'll see in the future, but uh, I'm definitely going to be using this radio. This has sort of made the, all the other ones obsolete, I think, for me. I'm going to show you how to take this panel off and swap the switches over. That's three position, but I want two position. So uh, we grab the provided Allen key. Undo the two bolts there. That pops the panel off. Then we've got a, an overall plug there that we pull out. Then we've got the panel free. Then we need to just undo the little collar there. I've already loosened it. And the switch will just pop out then. Take note of where the wiring is, so it's yellow down there. We can pull that little plug out. Replace it with the other one, making sure it's the same orientation. There we go, we've got it in. Switches around the correct way. Replace the little Retaining collar, tighten it up. So well, there we go, that is done. Now we put it back in. We look on the screen there. Yeah, that's correct orientation. That's good. So we just need to put the bolts back in now. Bingo. All right, we'll do the other side now. Do the momentary switch. So that was very simple, very quick and easy. Now I have momentary switch on the top left. That'll be for telemetry callouts or DLG launches. And a two position switch on the top right, which will be my return to home panic switch. For iNav, I will have angle and manual and acro and acro, cruise and loiter. So that is perfectly set up for my use now. Now there are a few more under the bonnet features to talk about uh, and it's reminding that it is a 2.4 and 900 megahertz all working at the same time. So it can handle 2.4 gigahertz receivers or 900 megahertz receivers or dual band receivers. Pretty much any Express LRS receiver on the market. Fully CNC aluminium 3D digital hall sensor gimbals, 1000 hertz digital with HTX sync, whatever that means. Has do-it-yourself SMA ports in the back that you can add your own external antennas if you want to. 
doesn't have an SD card. It has 512 megabytes of internal storage and the USB-C port on the top is charging and data. And it's also better weatherproofed inside or moisture proofed. It's got um, PCB nano coating to withstand hot and dry and humid conditions. In the user manual, I was looking at the different packet rates here. We've got 50 hertz to 500 hertz, 2.4 gigahertz for any ELRS, ELRS 2.4 gigahertz receiver. We've got 50 hertz to 200 hertz low band, so that's um, uh, 900 megahertz. Any Express LRS 900 megahertz receivers or, or sub gigahertz, they call them. You've got the X100 and X150 for use with Gemini crossband, dual band receivers. And we've also got the DK250, DK500 and K1000. They're new FSK high-speed modes for LR1121 based receivers. So that's a spectacular upgrade, a brilliant addition to the Radio Master range. And uh, this for me will become the radio, I think. So there we have the Radio Master GX12, the new top of the range, an absolute ripper. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.